Hello YouTube! This is Q's for Question bringing a how-to video on manipulating EasyVid, a free screencast software. You can download it with the link below. For those who have already used this, you know several of the features available, such as uh, mic recording, as, as, uh, screen capping, um, recording afterwards with commentary, it's doing uh, video editing, things of, well, what video gamers would want. And I say it is a great software for being a free software, but it's very limited. For those who want to go beyond the beginner step and want to end up to the next level, there isn't really a good stepping stone with this program. There's not a really good way of taking the most out of it. It's very the, there's some few limiting steps like no in-game audio recorded. Um, it's um, very limited in the features that it has for uh, video editing. And so I'm here to show you some things more specific to extracting it and extracting it as a full video than anything else. So right now I'm recording, okay? So I'm going to show you just a few tricks to really, really unbound the limitations of this program. What I'm going to do is show you exactly what it's doing right now. I'm going to go into my libraries, go into my documents. You should find a folder titled EasyVid. Go into that. You'll notice there are several folders, two folders at the top. Not worry about that one, but worry about the one that said projects. That will be for the next part. There are these other logs, and I, when you put a watermark on, it will store it here. But this, this is what we want. This is right now record. It is a video file. It's .avi, okay? So what that means is it will record everything in game, everything from your computer. So if you have music playing, it will record that. If it has audio playing, it will record that, okay? It will record anything that happens in game in your computer that wouldn't normally be picked up after it's processed. When it's processed, basically what happens is it just has the video. It removes all the audio that recorded. The other really cool thing that happens is under projects, you'll have a list of folders. This is project number 32. Go into that. You notice there are three folders. This final one is for when you process it and get ready to put it on YouTube. The media one is the file that will, um, or it's where the video is stored after it's been processed and stripped of its audio. And the audio is completely removed, except for this. I'm right now recording on this. So every time you stop this, it will automatically add on. I can't access it right now because I'm recording onto it, but when you stop recording, it will process it, okay? So basically right now I won't be able to do it unless I stopped it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to stop it quick, and I'm going to uh, come back. Okay, I just paused it, and now I'm back. So I go back in this folder. There it is again. It hasn't changed. I started it right here. I'll just show you something. That was the initial screen cap. It starts with zero. I think that's just because it's the lowest numerical value other than a negative number. So this is the one I'm recording on now. You'll notice the difference. There is zero. I mean zero time. You go up. If it lets me, if it describes it. There is 3 minutes and 48 seconds on this file. That means I can access it. So I'm just going to open it quick. Just I'm going to show you. Windows Media Player is probably the best thing for this. Actually, we're going to go to the end and show where I left off. So here I am, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm going to pause it. There you go. Exactly. So now that that file is completed, I could actually drag it right now. Now I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to show you what, and nothing bad's going to happen. You just pulled it, and it's already, cut, it's already made. The only thing is, is EasyVid won't recognize it, so I'll just skip over it when it tries to process it. 
So now I'm going to open this. And I didn't want to open it earlier because it might, it may make it corrupt. But after you've recorded a little bit and you've paused it, it should automatically start up. Hello YouTube. This is Q's for Question bringing a how-to video on manipulating EasyVid, a free screencast software. You can download it with the link below. So there you go. That is the mic recording. Now I could move this, but I'm not going to move it just yet. That is the last thing I will do. So you go back, go back, go back, go back here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something really cool. Go to your computer. Go to your local disk, C drive, program files, times 86. Go down and you'll notice there is a folder named EasyVid. Double click. Go to your song folder. And bam. All of the songs EasyVid downloads to your computer. All here. I think it's pretty cool. You can actually pull these out and use them for whatever. In fact, I use it in my uh, my um, video editing software. And so you can just add it, just like drag it, or you can drag it and put it in there, um, which I think is pretty cool. And um, I'm actually going to play one for you right now. Let's see, where is it? Here you go. So you should hear this, and actually, there's another feature that you may not notice. If you adjust your volume manually, it will adjust it in the computer, in the recording, the .avi recording. So I'm gonna increase it. And now decrease. Now you should hear nothing. Go back up. So there you go. That is one thing you just gotta know is that, and that applies for all video. Anytime you record sound, when you adjust it manually, I've already noticed this is that with the .avi file, it will adjust. It will record it as it comes out. So you just gotta be aware. I would recommend. If you're recording and you have uh, headphones, that you have adjustable headphones, one that has their own volume. So if it gets too loud, you don't adjust it in in the game, because that would mess up the, your whole recording and the consistency. So anyway, um, if I can just yeah, we'll just do that. Anyway, so right now I have this up, and actually I'm gonna open up um, my uh, one file. And I will be back. So now I've opened up CyberLink PowerDirector. I think this is a pretty good program. It came with the computer. I like it. It does a lot of things I want to do. And is, I think, very effective. This is a new project. I just opened the program up. Now I'm going to bring up my, my folder, my uh, file. And I'm just going to drag. Boom. Now you can go here. Play it. Completely manipulable. I mean, it's so easy to do. I mean, I'll just I'll just remove this. And I will actually show you what you can do. Remember I pulled that? I'm actually going to go back. And I'm going to go to actually be easier just going into documents there. I'm going to go back in the easy bin. Notice I just add, there's another one. Now I actually pull this right now. And I do recommend not, when you when you want to finish the video, just pause it. It won't make a new one until you start one. Then pull it after you finish. After it's finished stopping, once you paused it, you go ahead and pull it. And then after that, you should be able to just pull the audio without any consequence whatsoever. But I do recommend that once you pull all the .avi files and you press that, then press stop, let it normalize the audio so you guarantee you will have the audio there. So anyway, I'm going to actually minima or make it smaller. Quick, oops. Do this, pull it. I'm going to just 
add this quick one we just made now there it shows up um, you can actually just go ahead and play it go so there you go and I can uh, launch the media viewer and just see it full full screen it, it, I think it is pretty good at the quality um notice I notice it is a little pixelated and it's gonna be really pixelated and again I just I just hear what I just did is it adjusts in the in uh, the output so there you go that is one way of well several ways of manipulating easy vid now you basically you can put it into any audio, uh, video program you can put it into any editing program I'm just gonna get rid of that I'm gonna just no I don't want to save but yeah you can just literally just pull these out and you know once you pause it you can pull the last one out press stop have it do its normalizing for the audio and then you can pull the audio out of here you can just it'll, it'll come out you just pull it and you can you can drag and drop literally I mean there's no problem with that and it will be stored in here if you don't do anything with it but I recommend if you do make videos and you're gonna use it just to pull it and then put it in your folder but uh, yeah that is I, I think pretty easy way of making this work for you um, the one thing I really want to talk about here is this there is a time or there's a time limit for each video capture but that's for each one so if you think about it right I could do 45 minutes here I just do non-stop 45 minute recording but if I paused it it will make a new screen cap like you see here so I could have two screen caps at 45 minutes and I have 90 minutes of video granted there is going to be a time difference between the beginning and the the, the end and the beginning of them the start times there's gonna be a difference between there's gonna be a little bit of cut off so if you're playing a game or something you won't have a full picture necessarily but you have a if you if you just paused it you'd be able to do it easily so that that way you can just continuously have video recording and like I said these are extremely large files so I recommend having external hard drive um, if you have a large hard drive that's great but I'm using a laptop believe it or not so anyway that that is pretty much that all just manipulating how how you can extract them without damaging them actually and like I said you gotta make sure that you pull these before it starts if you don't pull the screen caps before it starts it's um it's not processing you will ruin the file forever and so if you have some audio on it make sure you do this is once you're finished finish your recording you press pause don't press stop okay if you want the uh, the game audio you press pause okay you pull it out and after you pull it out once you feel satisfied you can look at it while you're doing whatever you press stop it's very very simple very very simple and after you press stop make sure that this um, if you did pause it make sure this video this audio is okay too but then I, I don't pull it until all of this has been done until I pop I stop it and um, it tries to process it but then after it normalizes everything I'll pull it to where I want to put it so anyway that is manipulating easy bid um, if you have any questions go ahead and post them in the comments there are probably people that have questions if you have any um, comments about it you have any suggestions for improving this video improving other videos I love to hear them I love to read them if you have any questions you don't feel like 
you have to ask uh, publicly. You can private message me um, in the YouTube accounts. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Um, like the video. Favorite it if you want to have it for a reference. Um, go ahead and share it. I'd like to have people make this more popular. I personally think it's a great program to use. It's very user friendly. And with this that you now know about, you can make it all your own. You can make it basically comparable to uh, any paid software. Albeit maybe the quality is not as good for the video capping, but for the majority of people, if you have a good PC, it will work for you. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you around.